BJ Daniels is in pursuit of his dream. My dream has always been to be a starting quarterback. It's a dream that started in the Bay Area more than 10 years ago. To have the opportunity to play a professional sport in the state of Florida is an amazing thing. I'm, I'm a Florida kid. Never had the opportunity to play in the state of Florida. When the XFL called and said Tampa had a team and Coach Trestman, you know, gave me a call. I was like, man, I'm, I'm there. I'll be on the way. Tampa's like a second home to the Tallahassee native who left in 2012 as one of the most successful quarterbacks in the history of South Florida football. Daniels on his own into the end zone. So the drought is a dual threat under center. He could do it all. Combining for more than 10,000 all-purpose yards and 77 touchdowns in four seasons at USF. It would launch his professional journey. Inside, but calls his own number. Uh, so in 2013, I was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers uh, in the seventh round. Uh, then from there, I left San Francisco, went to Seattle. Uh, they had two Super Bowl appearances here. I was then moved on to the Houston Texans. Three wide receivers to the left of Daniels. Looking to the end zone, and that is a touchdown San Francisco. BJ's dream to be a starting quarterback took him to six different NFL teams over three years, where he was a member of three Super Bowl teams, winning one with the Seattle Seahawks. What I really take away from the NFL now is that the fact that I've been on multiple teams, I get, I've got an opportunity to be around so many different people. You know, so getting experience and learning things from them and each player, and um, you know, it's, it's definitely been a dream come true. But when the NFL door closed, Daniels wasn't done. After a year without football, he took his talents across the border to play in the CFL with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. But a preseason injury would prevent him from ever starting a regular season game. At that point, he thought the dream of ever being a starting pro quarterback was over. Uh, I did think that would be my last stint as far as an NFL player uh, or professional athlete at, at that. Um, you know, but I got a call from my agent about the Alliance of American Football, the AAF. The 28-year-old was drafted in the second round by the Salt Lake City Stallions, but wouldn't make the 52-man roster. It was then BJ's outlook on life began to change. The biggest thing I want to do now is just try to continue to, to be a positive role model, uh, you know, stay out of trouble and do whatever I can do to help out my community, the people around me and the people that has, have helped me so much, you know, reach different platforms of my life and my career, whether it's the NFL, the AAF or the XFL or, you know, playing in San Francisco and getting cut and released and then going to Seattle and the highs, lows, ups and downs, man, I'm, I'm just thankful for each opportunity I've been given. If you never play another down in professional football, how would you want to be remembered when somebody talks about B.J. Daniels? Competitor, uh, just a competitor. I mean, I, I think I've, in anything that I've ever done, regardless of what the score was, who we were playing, um, you know, I really, you know, did everything I could do to try to help my team and, and uh, you know, put USF or, or whether it was Lincoln High School in Tallahassee on the map and, and do whatever I could do to just, you know, be successful at whatever I was doing. B.J. Daniels' football career has come full circle, but for him, it also comes with a powerful message. The biggest thing that I want to relate to people now is not just the football aspect of, I want you to know what I didn't know in high school or, high, or in college. Um, you know, I want you to be prepared and ready to move on, you know, when football's no longer there.